Calm Down TV. Calm down before we shut this down. Hit that subscribe button. DJ Calm Down, Calm Down TV. Man, who these people click to see? Man, DF Super Savage in the building, man. You know what it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, uh, of course, we in the Antioch area right now. Nashville, Tennessee area. Where you from exactly, though? Man, I'm from right here. Boy. Real 615 native. Yeah. I was born at Southern Hills. Real okay. hard in place, baby. Okay. I've been, uh, but... When I was four, I moved to uh, Milwaukee for six years. Yeah. Yeah. Then I moved back, and then I came from fifth grade, and I ain't left. How was uh Milwaukee? Was it snowing out? Snowing out? Man, time? snowing so much it's ridiculous, man. Yeah. Um, blizzards, all all type of cold right. weather. I'm not a big cold weather person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm born in the winter, but I ain't either. <laughs> yeah, definitely love the south. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, so. Uh, so you came back in the fifth grade. Were you excited to come back? Yes, actually, when I was living in Milwaukee, uh, I was living with my dad. Me and my dad' relationship at the time wasn't like the strongest. Yeah. So um, yeah, nigga just wasn't fucking with living in Milwaukee. Okay. And the the environment I was coming up in, I understood that I, I'd be in a fucked up predicament if I stayed there. Oh, uh, not a name, DF Super Savage. Uh, tell me about the name. Yeah, man. Okay, so, like, you can look up on YouTube. A long time ago, the first song I ever dropped was under the name D Savage. Okay. And I used to, it's on my senior shirt. Like, people used to call me D Savage all the time. And then, uh, a nigga actually got big. A, another nigga named D Savage got big. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to switch my name up. Uh, and so I came up with DF Super Savage. It's an acronym. It stands for Don't Forget Stack Up Paper and Stay Ahead by You All God's Efforts. So it's a long guy's acronym. But say, can you say it for one more time? Because I'm looking at the letters and stuff. Don't Forget Stack Up Paper and Stay Ahead by You All God's Efforts. Mm. I like that. Yeah. You can't do it by yourself. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... Alright, let's see, what, you, what was you into growing up? Was you always into music? Was Man, you sports? so like, growing up, I was into the environment and, and music and basketball. I ain't even gonna lie. What do you mean the environment? Like, like, like outside, like, bro, yeah. like, like nature, nature and shit yeah. like that. Real, like. Just confirm, make sure we're on the same Yeah, place. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. um, I ain't dropped the video yet, but my, uh, I got a video that I shot at the Quad Critter. I used to uh I used to go there like every day after school. I used to walk me and my mom used to walk up there and they would let me handle the snakes, handle all the reptiles and shit. So I fell in love with just taking care of animals at a young age and then when I went to Croft I went to Croft all four years from That's the school, right? Yeah, it's on the Legion Fields. It's a still still on Harden Place, man, right right off Harden Place. Okay. Uh and they literally attached to the zoo. Mm. So uh, we used to get, oh, okay, yeah, people call us the zoo school. Cause they call it, Cause it's literally uh, on the same property. The zoo actually owned Croft. Mm. It's a whole crazy ass story behind it, man. Y'all should look it up. It's real shit. Okay, so um, yeah, what was you uh, maybe listening to growing up? Or maybe what was your early childhood dreams? Y'all tell you want to be a rapper one day? Or? What's crazy is that like my family got videos of me when I'm like three, four years old, just rapping. It was it was plain simple raps, but mm -hmm. like when I moved to Milwaukee, I used to always be just coming up with stuff as three, four years old, Creative. like like already wanting to rap. But uh, but then I kind of fell in love like, like with animals and and nature. No cap, I really wanted to become a a, a zoologist mm -hmm. and. Um, you used to watch how to do little movies and stuff. Yeah, all of that. <laughs> yeah, all of that. Definitely big on Animal Planet growing up. <laughs> I'm, I'm big on it now. Yeah. I wasn't so big on it growing up, but I can't get enough of it now. Like Shark right. Week, and not just Shark Week, but, but yeah, I, I already know. Docu documentary. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, and Aquatic Critter, that's, uh, that was kind of one of my questions, because you got a, uh, that's one of your singles, correct? Yeah. So uh, let's talk about the, um, uh, Gasville uh, project. Yeah. Was that the first project you put out? 
Yes, that's the first project I put out. Actually, the only project that I put out. Um, I ain't get too much traffic on it, but I got a little bit of traffic on it. I'm I'm glad for what I did because I did it straight independent all on my own. And um, Gasville, man, it just I resonate with the view so much, and I smoke gas every day. So I just had to like now everybody be calling it Cashville, Blastville, all type of negative shit. Gasville is just. You feel me? It just resonated with me, so yeah. I had to, had to go with that. One. Okay. Um, you got a favorite song off the project? Of course, yeah. you got video of Hakuna Matata. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. My favorite song on the project definitely got to be Gas. It's yeah. a it's an acronym for Got a Lot of Sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's the latest video that I dropped, mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah that, a promo on there. Yeah, mm hmm That's my that's my favorite song off the project. Okay. Uh could you maybe define what's a super savage? Man, a super savage is it depends on what kind of what kind of lifestyle you live in cause like you could be a super savage at anything, honestly. You could be a super savage hooper, a super savage rapper, a super savage trapper, whatever. It's it's just you super at whatever you do and then you you non like you don't give a fuck about what people think really because a savage not finna give a fuck what nobody say or do other than themselves that's, that's no filter it. no filter yeah okay um any early childhood like who are you listening to basically man so like i told y'all uh, I moved to Milwaukee when I was young, and my dad he don't listen to rap for real. He a uh, he real old head kind of dude. So, old I, school music yeah, music old school music, man. Marvin I grew up Gaye listening to shit. Marvin Gaye, Teddy Pendergrass, the OJ's type shit. Yeah. That and then down here, my mom she heavy rap music. <laughs> so like, but she also from Milwaukee, so she a Midwestern New Yorker. So she listened to like. DMX man, rest in peace to DMX. That shit is, honestly made my mom cry. I'm the one who called her on the phone, told him he was dead, like she was crying on the phone. But RP DMX man, I used to listen to a lot of Busta Rhymes, and then my sister, I got an older sister, her she influenced me with like Lil Wayne okay. and like artists of her time. So I got a little little taste of a a little genre out there, definitely in the rap world. I I feel like I done listened to a lot. A lot of different coast, east coast, west coast, and yeah. areas. a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people, just, like I know, for instance, me, I was stuck in the south for a long time, which I still just you feel me, you feel me, more prone to listen to south music. But right. yeah, I don't only listen to south music. No right. Cool. Yeah. But um, so yeah, out of all them people though, who is like, and out of different side, like who did you? Which one you mess with the most? I man. mean, okay, okay, I don't want you to okay. say this part is better than that part is yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I can't say that nobody is better than nobody. Because yeah. all music is opinionated. Right. The exactly. person making it and the person listening to it. Mm -hmm. So, literally, I would say that I could listen to Busta Rhymes as, as a, since youth. I could listen to a Busta Rhymes song every day and be perfectly fine. Like listen with and be perfectly fine listening to him, but that man, real versatile. Really don't get a lot of uh, credit. Okay. Cause I feel like I gotta dive into my Busta Rhymes, which I know he's always a legend. I used to listen to some of his songs, but I was I can't say I was just a fan. So you had to right. dive in that catalog a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is DF Super Savage rocking with your boy. Calm down, TV. Calm down before we shut this bitch down.